You just suck that whole thing down. Get on in this boat. Oh my goodness. It's just flipping crazy. Be out here, sheep's head after sheep's head all over the place. Oh my gosh, he's a fighter. Hey, hey, all right. Look at that. All right, nice sheep's head, 14 inches. Can't have him. That's uh, another geeber. We need a net. Oh, that's a good way to end. That's a way to finish it off. That's the way to finish it off right there. Nice. Oh yeah, there's there's like 10 or 12 sheep's head down there. Oh my gosh, there's 20 of them. 30 of them, holy smokes. Hey fishing friend, my name is JC with the Rad and Rilling Fishing. In this video, I'm gonna give you some awesome tips for catching sheep's head with live shrimp and with dead shrimp. Now I've got some live shrimp back here in a bucket. We're gonna do an experiment. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the result of the experiment. I'm just basically doing it to prove a point about a method that I use for catching sheep's head that is so effective when you're fishing with live and with dead shrimp, you guys. So we're gonna get to it right after this. <music> I've got over 800 fishing related videos in my library. Make sure you subscribe and set your notifications to all. I promise you, you will be glad that you did. I upload videos all the time. Now, let's get into these sheep's head catching tips. Let me show you how I like to hook these shrimp, okay? I got a live shrimp here, and you can see on the side of his head right there, he's got a black spot, right? So I turn the shrimp over, upside down like that. I come right in front of the black spot, right in front of the legs, and I hook him from underneath, and I bring that hook right out through the top of the head just like that that helps hide the hook and he'll also stay alive that way so here's here's a trick that i like to do and this is a way that you can double the amount of bait that you have you get to fish with live and dead shrimp but the bigger shrimp and even the smaller shrimp just take and break the tail off like that what that does is it allows an additional amount of scent to be in the water and also that shrimp is going to stay alive so that's the experiment we're going to do today i'm going to break some of these shrimp off put them in a little bowl put them on an aerator and while i'm making the rest of this video we're going to see if these shrimp will stay alive so just go ahead and get us some water we'll set that right there all right guys so here we go i got me a shrimp i'm just going to go ahead and break this this guy i'm going to break him off at about one third and we're just gonna put him in the bowl here. So I broke off four shrimp. We got four new shrimp in there. I'm gonna keep them aerated. I went ahead and set the, the stopwatch. And uh, yeah, we'll see how, I don't know. We'll give them about five minutes. We'll come back and check on them and see if they're alive. Okay, so here's the thing. If you can see sheep's head and there's not a lot of current, I generally don't break the tails off of the shrimp. I just throw them out there and I free line them, just kind of sight casting. Let that shrimp swim around on his own. Now, if the shrimp is not sinking and the sheep's head are staying down deeper, put a very, very small split shot on there. Now, I have a video that shows you all the different ways that you can rig for sheep's head that are very effective. I'll put a link in the description here. And I also have a video on all the different, the best baits to use for sheep's head fishing. I'll put a link in the description area down there as well. I also have a video on different sheep's head fishing lines, right? I like to use like 15 pound test, 20 or 25 pound test monofilament leader. Sometimes I'll just use a reel that's come straight up rigged with 15 pound test monofilament. That way I don't have to keep retying leaders whenever I get broken off. But uh, that's it guys. Number one hook, monofilament leader, any, anywhere up to like 25 pound test is fine depending on where you're fishing. Some guys fish with even heavier than that when they're around heavy structure. But the thing about sheep's head is whenever you hook one, they basically just come, almost come straight up out of the water. I mean, I caught one recently that like took this really, really hard run down along, on, along the rocks. But for the most part, sheep's head will fish will fight straight up and down. Yeah, sheep's head will absolutely chase the living bejeebies out of a live shrimp if they see it. Now, this was uh, proven to me last year. I was fishing in my kayak in an area where there were a, a lot of sheep's head, right? And uh, they were schooling like 10 and 15 of them. And whenever I would see the school, I would take and just free line a shrimp out there. And if that shrimp would sink down anywhere near the school, there would be a sheep's head that would chase it and would eat it. I've also seen this around the uh, the pier where there's like loaded with sheep's head. I've seen sheep's head actually come off of the pilings and chase the shrimp and eat my shrimp. And I've caught quite a few of them that way. 
this free line and shrimp down there. This free line and that shrimp. And he followed it up. Oh, that's a good one. We got some good sheep said. They are not around the pilings. They're just cruising around in big schools. Definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper sheep. This is a good one here. Yeah, buddy. Set the hook on you good too, dude. He, he engulfed that shrimp. He just sucked that whole thing down. Get on in this boat. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? Wow. Big old keeper sheeper. Wow. That felt good. All right, so the, these sheep said they're cruising around in a big school. There's like 20 of them. And that's the third hit that I've had. They'll definitely hit the shrimp, just free falling it right in front of them. If they see it, they'll hit it. <laughs> All right, maybe we got it figured out. So yeah, if you're in an area where there's not a lot of current and you see the sheep's head, just try free lining a shrimp first without breaking off his tail and um, see if you can get him that way. If you can't get him that way, then break off the tail and try it that way. All right, so where are you gonna find sheep's head? Most of the time, the way that I find sheep's head is when I'm just out and about fishing, right? I'm looking around docks and stuff, then there's sheep's head on the pilings or around seawalls or around rocks. A lot of times they'll be on the flats, you'll see them at the beach. You just have to be vigilant, always looking around your surroundings and you're gonna see sheep's head and then you're gonna know, hey, that's where I need to go to go catch them, right? Now, people are always asking me all the time, where in the heck are these spots at that I'm catching sheep's head? 99% of the time, I don't reveal exact locations, but I like to tell people the different seasons of the year and why these fish are where they are. And that way people, rather than going to the exact spot that I'm fishing in, whatever city they're in or whatever city they're gonna be visiting, then they'll know where to find sheep's head, right? So during March, you guys, I go down to the jetties and I catch sheep's head like crazy. Why is that? Well, they come in there during the month of March. They come in there thick to spawn. So during the month of March in Southwest Florida, find a major inlet, but actually starting in like December, just find a major inlet that you can fish. Fish around the bridges, fish piers, fish from your boat, fish around docks, fish rocks, you're gonna find sheep's head in those major inlets. They love hanging out in those major inlets, like starting in December. They're gonna be thick, December, January, February, and especially March, you guys. They're gonna be so thick during March. So, um, all right, so number one hook, you're gonna free line some live shrimp if there's not a lot of current and you can see them. Um, if there is some current, you're gonna need, need to add some weight to it. So you add a little bit of weight to it, right? But yeah, breaking off those shrimp is a great method and it doubles your bait, okay? So whenever you run out of the live shrimp, then what you do is I generally take like two or three or four of the shrimp tails and I hook them all on one hook. And what I think that does, honestly, I think it makes it kind of look like a little crab because it's got all those little tails sticking out on it. And the sheep's head smell that scent and they just gobble them up, you guys. And uh, yeah, so it's a great way to double your bait. You can catch sheep's head on live and on dead bait that way. So, all right, so what do you do when you have a lot of current? A lot of current, you guys, I'm, I'm loading up with like a half ounce to a one ounce sinker, depending on where I'm fishing at. And I almost always break my shrimp off. So I give them that additional scent. So if you're not getting hits by breaking your shrimp off, well, obviously, switch over and just hook your shrimp on there live without breaking the tail off. Okay, let's talk about the size of the shrimp. Sheep's head have very small mouths, so smaller shrimp work better. Regular size shrimp are fine, but if you do happen to get some bigger shrimp, break off two thirds of the shrimp and just use the head. It'll look just like a little crab that way, and you'll still be able to catch sheep's head. But yeah, get the smaller shrimp, guys, for sheep's head. As far as tides, my experience has been I catch more sheep's head when the tide is moving slow. Whenever the tide is really moving fast, um, I don't catch a lot of sheep's head, but whenever that tide slows down, like right before a low or right before a high tide and right after, that seems to be the best time to catch sheep's head. The bite really turns on. I specifically noticed that last year when I was fishing with Bush from the Fish On channel. Um, yeah, we fished and fit. We could see sheep's head all over the place. And right when it hit the low tide, guys, they started biting. I mean, for an hour, we could not get them to bite. And then all of a sudden, we couldn't get our baits in the water fast enough. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. It's, it's sheep's head time, guys. This is just like one right after another here now. Every bait I'm dropping down, I'm getting hit. That's good, but we're out of the beef one. It's really cooking good. 
There we go. All right, buddy. Thanks for the catch. See. So they are definitely specific to tidal flow, and uh, when there's less movement in the water, um, they send to, they they tend to feed better. Before I close out this video, I want to check on these again. Let's take a look and see. So these guys have been in here 10 minutes. Just kind of knock them around a little bit. We got three of them that are still alive. Their legs are moving upright. And we got one that is flipped over. Is he just tired? You see here. A lot of times you can... Yeah, he's, he's dead. So three out of the four shrimp are still alive after almost 12 minutes. All right, guys. Well, there's some great tips for you. Fishing with shrimp. Make sure you check my other videos out in the description area. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Set your notifications to all. Thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up or appreciate it. And everybody, get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya. Subscribe or I'll send this guy out to your next fishing adventure.